And largely here we're talking about insolvencies and what we mean by that is when people or businesses are unable to pay their debts when they fall due. If you take a look at businesses, the worst case scenario is that they go into liquidation and 3,000 went bust over the past three months alone. With individuals you have a choice, you can go bankrupt where you declare yourself bankrupt but a trustee takes over your assets and it's very embarrassing and very complicated and you may even have to sell your home. Or you can go into an arrangement known as an individual voluntary arrangement whereby you come to some kind of deal with your creditors and try and sort the problem out so you pay back just a certain amount so rather than them losing everything altogether. And if you take a look at the figures, 15,000 individuals went insolvent over the past three months alone. 37% rise, that's record levels. And of those 15,000, 4,000 were these individual voluntary arrangements. And largely, that's because of consumer debt. We're just spending too much money on our credit cards. Well, Jeff Carton Kelly is head of business recovery at the accountancy firm Baker Tilly. Good afternoon to you. Do you think it's too easy then for people to run up debts and then get out of paying them? Well, there is a new, slightly softer regime that was introduced in uh, 